Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, our first ever anime commentary. Uh, we'll work on a we'll we'll work on a title at some point in the future. I am joined by Perry. Hello, dear peoples of the YouTubes. And Jalen. Yeah, anime time. That's right. So, um, for lack of better terminology, we've essentially been doing the anime equivalent of a book club, where we just been showing each other stuff over the internet, and we decided it'd be a, a fun thing to do for the channel just to record our commentary for this. Uh, this is going to work similar to audio commentaries from other YouTubers, if you've seen it, so you will not be able to watch the anime from here, we will not be including clips or audio, you will just have to play it along with the show if you want to watch it along with us. Uh, without further ado, we are going to be watching a series that I've recommended, I have seen it, Jalen and Perry have not, this is Gun X Sword, and it's just a great time. So this is the show where a gun falls in love with a sword, right? That is correct. This is uh, <laughs> this is this. <laughs> What's the? What is his name? The protagonist guy from Final Fantasy VIII. I'm forgetting it. Squall. Squall. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the story of uh, Squall's uh, <laughs> his weapons uh, parents meeting for the first time, <laughs> and the trials and tribulations that came along with it. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, so. Good. I, I refuse to make the pun that I was I had conjured in my head. <laughs> oh god! I I I want to I don't want to do it. It makes me hurt just thinking about it. <laughs> but yeah, so that is um that is what we are doing now. And uh for a note, just for a premise for you guys or other people watching uh uh this show it's not not an older show but you know it's not a new show i think oh seven oh eight give or take actually no i think it was between oh three and oh four and then funimation bought the rights to it in 2010 because uh the actual distributing company went uh tits up so no oh. yeah so it was, what a bit was of the a, original one uh like genion or something um oh Aww. yeah mm -hmm. yeah so but with that in mind though uh one thing that you might notice i'm not gonna say what what but you'll notice it right away the show is uh for lack of a better word inspired by other shows like you're gonna basically think of this as like taking any other relatively cool show that you've heard of and just throwing it into a blender um you know and it, i'd say it makes it a better thing not of the individual things because one of the things in there is uh cowboy bebop and uh this is not as good as cowboy bebop but still pretty fun so are you guys ready to go you know it. All right, let's go. Oh, those were bugs, not flowers. I literally thought those were flowers, too. Damn. Damn, that dude's got some strong legs if he can break up bone like that. Gun sword partners. I like it. Wait, his hat has... Oh, wait, I, never mind. I was about to say, his hat has a piercing? Kind of? I like the name of this episode. Well, at least the town lives up to its name having green in the title. <laughs> Seen better days. Yeah, but at least the church looks intact. Damn. Holy crap. They killed that little girl. You just told him to leave. 
No, no, no. He we he has to give a donation to the church first. Oh. For girl. It's a turtle thing. Wait, what? She keeps a live turtle around her neck? Yep. Yeah, it's, it's quite interesting. So I guess we can qualify this guy under the category of crouching moron hidden badass. He's a mix yep. between Spike and Vash the Stampede. That was he kicked him in the nuts <laughs> and punked him. Jesus. Ew. Oh, okay. Oh. Enjoy vacation. <laughs> Our, uh, well, it doesn't look very enjoyable. Farming little venue. Ah, uh, here we go. I love how it just says "enjoy" on the front lawn. <laughs> yep. This theme park seen better days. I don't know if this is a theme park. I mean, it looks like it. Really. Oh my god, look at the chef's face in the background. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Good lord. This is like every French chef's worst nightmare. What's wrong with him being a snappy dresser? <laughs> Look, in this Cowboy Bebop Trigon Fist of the North Star world, tuxedos are weird. Oh. Yeah, you're not Lord Humongous, therefore I do not care. I already like the character designs in this show. Notice that he shot each of those five times. 
before yeah. the bullet actually went off. Well, that, that's the that's the yes. point. Yeah, I know. I suspect he rigged the guns. Yeah. Eat the fuel, and I will spare your lives. <laughs> well, damn. Damn it, dude! You're not supposed to blow up the fuel. I swear to God, for a second, <laughs> I thought he was going to have assless chaps. <laughs> Don't be, you'd be surprised what this show will do. <laughs> Wait a second. I saw butt cleavage there. God damn it. This guy has assless chaps. He's just wearing some lowriders, huh? Apparently. But highway. There is no highway. I love how formal okay, that dude cool is. <laughs> it's like, this concludes <laughs> your uh, threatening uh, speech for today. <laughs> I love how he just has women available to offer. <laughs> mm. I mean, they fed you. Mm. You could at, at least, least you know. do it. Hell, jeez. <laughs> Dude. That woman just sleep. He's just hanging out. Having his ball sack chin. The true evolution of the butt chin. Oh my god, he's a ball chinian for men in black. <laughs> he looks so sad. At least he's sad while dressing sharp. Probably thinks you, whoever your fashion designer is, needs to be fired. <laughs> All because he just wanted a glass of milk. Jeez. Okay, I'm confused. So, 
there was another card under the Joker. Right. Meaning that Vaughn intentionally chose the Joker to lose. Meaning that he wasn't actually lucky enough to win Izo. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, man, his body, his choice. Wow. What? <laughs> I, I'm sorry, excuse me? Oh Jesus. That <laughs> Please tell me that the Okay, question. How old is she? Fourteen? Yeah, that's <laughs> I don't a, have a that's question a... mark at the end there. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's a fat no on that end. Where is she supposed to go, you jerk? I mean, this is a man who just wanders around. And even if she does get out of town, she's most likely going to follow him. What a sore loser. Yep. Dude's an asshole. Of course he's not lucky. That guy is lucky. Oh. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> he's the, special. The past, I feel like the past, like, three or four minutes have been, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> over and over again. Well, that's because nothing has been explained so far. Correct. Episode one doesn't have to explain much, to be fair. Oh, that's true. Also, I I love when Vaughn's like trying to dissuade her from like getting married to him and he's like, I'm a virgin, and she's like, I am too, and he's like, Oh god, stop. That's, that's not that doesn't make it war better. Yep. Yeah, no, right. Any more creepy. I honestly expected Vaughn to just keep on moving. It's midnight, you jackass. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that revolver has some serious iron sights on it. The better to aim, I guess. Hey, a mech. Yep. <laughs> In other words, non copyright Gundam. Yep. Oh. Oh, God, so Top of Hat's going to be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I like this uh, spaghetti western music going on at the moment. Oh yeah, it's like semi-operatic. It's cool. How do you get over this so fast? What the hell? Is 
Symbolism. Hey, he's back. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> He's frame. Oh shit. He can <laughs> Virgil. All squall's probably having the most massive boner right now. Oh, it's so cool. Oh god. <laughs> oh, man, just just sit down. Hammer Gramps is hidden S tier. Uh, oh, don't ever make that face, face again. <laughs> Damn. He does not give a single fuck. Uh oh. Why is he so cool already? <laughs> well, what the fuck? <laughs> oh man, they just trimmed that lawn. <laughs> They'll have to redo the that. enjoy all over again. <laughs> mm. It's now Eoy. Sword. Oh. My gosh, this is bonkers. I love it. <laughs> it's so cool. That is one limber mech. Oh, it, oh god, it's yeah. so acrobatic. God, I'm having Super Robot Wars flashbacks. Yeah, he was in the recent one, wasn't he? Yep. Salt level. He is That's really a... why you like him now. Yes. <laughs> he really is Virgil. He just the explosions happen after he's done. <laughs> it's so precise, he literally grabbed the pilot through his glass window. He pressed the claw button.
is way to ruin the moment. <laughs> huh. That's weird. Normally don't see a first episode ending with the animated credits. Mm-hmm. You're still a kid. Really? Why is she so stuck up on that? <laughs> well then. What is what is is just being a snappy dresser a crime in this world or something? It, apparently. So yeah. That is, that There's is, the first uh, episode. Yeah. That is definitely an interesting way to start off a show. I'll give it that. Oh yeah. It just kind of threw us in there. Yep. It's like <laughs> especially cuz like, if you watch the show without knowing anything about it, it's like, oh, look, it's like a Western. And then they just have mechs. <laughs> and they just kind of show up at the end, and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, that's yeah. a spice to this. With with probably the most apathetic main protagonist we, I've seen in a long while. Yeah, man, he's... Yeah, he's got a lot of... Like, you can see what I mean when I said it mixes a lot of stuff. He's clearly, like you guys said, like, very similar to both Spike and Vash. Um... Mm -hmm. You know, for a lot of reasons, of course, and, <laughs> and and there's other stuff too. You know, the the vagabond wandering the wastelands, going from town to town, saving the day when he doesn't want to, sort of thing. Is it, it, there's tropes? Yeah. He's, basi yeah, he's basically living the life of Vash if he was in Spike's body. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely a way to start an impression for a show. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, I'm guessing we're gonna move on to the next episode. Yeah, we're gonna move to the next one here. I can't believe it—the fact that she's just like, "Hey, I just met you like five minutes ago. I also want to marry you." What? <laughs> I'm guessing she's on the thought process of dudes like women's. I am women. Yeah. So this this intro is awesome. I'll tell you why, but I want you to notice or pay attention to the characters that are silhouetted in this. Okay. Oh god, I'm having more Super Robot War flashbacks. I'm not kidding, this song literally plays every time that Vaughn attacks. Oh, it's so cool. Alright, I see more okay, silhouettes, yep. I'm noticing a lot of women in this. Yep. Well that was slick. So can I ask a question? Yes. Yes, Jalen, you can ask a question. Jalen. <laughs> Telling you there. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm here. Um, I was gonna ask a question real quick. Yeah, what's that question? Do any of these silhouettes, you know, become revealed? Yes, that's actually what I was uh, going to say uh, for this. So they actually reveal them on a per episode basis. Okay. Oh, basically, okay. Basically, so as we meet the characters, right? Yeah. So as in, it's not like. It's not like they change it per arc like with other shows. Like as in, the they will actually after a episode is played where a character has been revealed, the very next episode will show that silhouette like um like 
unmystifying itself and turning it just into like an actual just portrait of the character. Um, mm -hmm. And it will progressively reveal them over the course of the series as they reveal themselves. And it's, I think it's genius because uh, this isn't an issue, so to speak, but we'll say it's a facet of an issue is in other anime series, they might have the intro play and reveal characters that you've never even seen before. Right. Um, and their dynamic with the other characters and their posing reveals who they are, you mm -hmm. know, before you even know who they are. So when you see these characters, you'll know that they're villains before they even show up because of, like, you know, say the way they're posing or the way that they're looking. Or yeah. you'll know they're an ally. Like, uh, mind you, I love Outlaw Star when we watched it. But um, one thing of Outlaw Star is, like, when you had, for example, um, fuck, who's the samurai chick? I'm forgetting her name. Suzuka. Yeah, Suzuka. She shows up initially as a villain, but since I see her chilling on the harem bed with the rest of them, I'm like, okay, so she's gonna join the gang, you know? Mm -hmm. So when she initially shows up as a villain, I'm not, like, convinced, so to speak, because the intro, for lack of a better word, spoiled it for me. Um, yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. Also, saying someone being on a harem bed out of context is really hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Are, just... we gonna, are we gonna... Are we gonna play the episode or what? Yeah, we are. I I paused it so right. Jalen could watch the rest of it here because it's a it's a banging song, dude. But um, but yeah. So that the intro will progressively change. So I'm not gonna do it every single time we watch this, but I will play it the next episode because the character this episode whoa, 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 is revealed. Okay, um, hmm. did you pause the episode? Because I'm at like three minutes in, almost four. Oh, uh, no, I, I'm at mine. Mine is paused. My I'm at one twenty three. Um, I'm at three fifty. Okay, you should refresh, and then we'll uh, go back from there. <laughs> okay. Oops. <laughs> There's always something. <laughs> There's always something. So, are we gonna watch the opening every episode, or at least every? Uh, no, only two episodes? well, every few episodes. I'm gonna say I'm gonna show. Well, I, I'm showing it to you here. I'm also going to show it to you the next episode um, so that you can see the process of character being revealed. Um, and then maybe when we're like 10, 12 episodes in, then I'll show it to you again so you can see them as they have progressed. Okay, so it didn't sync back up. Uh, let me try this. I'm going Wait. to reload the page and the whole page. All right, we should be at one eleven now. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's where I'm at. Okay. Damn. God, I love the intro. Yeah, it's good. The song really makes it. Known as the Outlaw Star. <laughs> A very unique name for a planet. Mm-hmm. They have the world's largest supply of bridges. <laughs> well, for a second there, I thought he was going to lose it. <laughs> like, you triggering me, girl.
Oh shit, it's Fujiko. Is that voice is that the same voice actress for Fujiko? Yeah. Damn. Damn, Vaughn. Yes. <laughs> and I thought I was bad with faces and names. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Your full name. Sex man, chill. <laughs> oh, please keep playing. It soothes the soul. All of the condiments. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, at least he got his milk. is oh my god that is a talent right there good lord <laughs> and a lot of these people were low riders yep what the f <sighs> I love how the most animated he gets is whenever it involves food and the claw. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> to be fair, anyone would do that if they got a king size bed. It's a bridge. That's what bridges do. They bridge. That is a pony ass mustache. <laughs> oh, just you wait. <laughs> Gets mustachier. Also, uh, trivia. Carmen ninety nine is a like, s like sex pun because her that's her bust size in centimeters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, 99 centimeters? Sneaky. Good lord. Yep. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll grow up. Give it a couple of years. <laughs> we just hanging off the... Well, now I'm going to shoot her. Full yandere. <laughs> I'm going to just Jesus go Christ, full yandere. The first thing she did. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> Keep out. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. 
That is that is some like World War One level of facial hair. Are you sure that's not like a full like armor piece? <laughs> Does it come laced with Kevlar? Uh, Maybe. Who knows? You'll just have to find out. He. It looks like he just shaved his head and glued all of it to his mustache. I don't know about that. Weeks. <laughs> well, at least the ladies can go first. That is if you're one of the what, 300 or so or 200? 200. I'm just like, man, I didn't sign up for this crap. <laughs> Was it supposed to do that? Yes. He has a light up mustache phone in his portrait of himself. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's so good. <laughs> I see this show is, is one that likes to give. Are these women going to be okay? I don't know. I suspect something fishy afoot. Okay. It's one of those. Well, damn, they, they answered my question real quick. What? <laughs> I said it'd get mustachier. <laughs> and no one's questioning oh, his. What? <laughs> They're taking this in stride. No one is questioning this. <laughs> what, what? You don't have a. Your mustache powerful enough to grow 80 feet and support your whole body weight? <laughs> I haven't trained that no, hard. because I live on this thing called planet Earth. <laughs> I'm nowhere near that level of expertise.
here we go. What? Outed for a pedo. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yes, thank you. I just like how he <laughs> came in that way. <laughs> it's only the second episode, Vaughn. Come on. <laughs> Mustaches. <laughs> What? <laughs> Mustache Brigade. <laughs> oh, shit. It's the deadliest yo-yo ever. Right? Nah. Uh, no, because unless everyone is Jesus, I doubt there's going to be footsteps. I think he was being metaphorical. Knew it, he's Dr. Robotnik. I, I like how <laughs> as soon as he can't get the women, he insults them. Yep. She's pretty strong. Gentlemen of love. <laughs> really? Did you say section nine? Yep. Someone summon the major immediately. <laughs> Yeah, me too, man. On a Thursday. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, my bad then.
Oh, dear. Oh, relax. He's fine. That doesn't look fine. Coming speed. God damn it, this dude loves to hear himself talk. They could have left. And just did whatever. Oh no, my beautiful mustache! Damn. All of his power is gone. <laughs> Damn, he just outright kills them. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Damn. Was with boy. Most of the character's name actually is just boy. <laughs> oh god, don't tell me it's Kratos. <laughs> Give us a ride. She had that the whole time? Yep. <laughs> Why didn't she just fly over the river? She no, never. She, would, she never she wanted to cross. She no. wanted to investigate that stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Vaughn is just classically depressed. Yep. <laughs> Uh, that that was uh, that was interesting to say the least. <laughs> the fucking mustache people, what? Have you noticed a trend? <laughs> Aside from this show being nuts, yes, that is goofy. that is the trend. This show is uh, bonkers. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna lie, that that is something I definitely would not have expected from this. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, just you wait. This next episode, like, out of the first arc, we'll say. This is what I'm going to call just the wandering arc. Because it's just a bunch of, like, you know, show up to a place, thing happens, move on, sort of, like, pacing mm -hmm. right now. Um, This next one is one of my favorites. So, oh. yes, it's... <laughs> it is... E it, yes. I it's you, you'll love it I I think but well let me ask you this and then uh I've gotten some like adjectives from but what do you think of the show thus far I mean obviously it's early so early impressions what what do you got I like it so far um I didn't expect Vaughn to be so likable <laughs> <laughs> it helps that he is a a part of the manly team of yelling chest. Yep. <laughs> what about you, what? Barry? What are your early impressions thus far? Uh, the show is bonkers as hell. I'm definitely curious to see where this goes, but at the same time, there's part of me that just wants to say, Vaughn, why do you give so little of a crap about anything, and yet just suddenly just it snaps into place? Like, yep. what? 
bastion yeah. of justice, but literally you just said is just like you've also broken your promise. You basically are using these women like things like no, you're you're being a superhero right now. Yep. You are and you say you are. Just just accept it, man. It's cool. <laughs> like I said, classically depressed. Yep. He's literally doing everything that a, a like a classic superhero would do. Like he's standing up for some. He's standing up for the weak. He just doesn't give a crap. Oh, here's an. I see the dude in the thumbnail. That's another one from Gun X. That's another one I've seen in uh, Robot Wars. Oh, yep. Okay. So now we're gonna watch the intro again, but this time you'll get to see like a character revealed since they showed up in the last episode. In this case, you'll see Carmen this time. Okay. Yep, and she wasn't in the original intro. So. And there you go. Fair well, enough. Yeah. So you now you know you weren't spoiled about Carmen. Yeah. All right. Let me. Uh... Bird noise. Let me guess, Vaughn. Yep. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Oh my god. What? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Wait, did the sleepy dude... <laughs> yes.
<laughs> Damn. In there, I thought that door was just going to collapse. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> They'd be better off just leaving him alone. Damn. Shot. Really? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I, was, I like that song. That was, that was a change there. Yeah. <laughs> also, she she sang in the secret language of Japanese. Almost halfway <laughs> guessing that they didn't even just bother dubbing that over. They just kept the same recording as a Japanese voice actor. I'm fairly certain. I mean, she was already in her pajamas. <laughs> Immediately flash back into not listening to that. Wow. <laughs> Windy, not important.
Or maybe that's how she reminisces. She just tells people to tell her a story. <laughs> oh my god, he's still asleep. Sick, dude. <laughs> Wait, are they just sitting on like a Aztec pyramid? Yes. <laughs> oh dear. I don't think this man should have alcohol. And notice he's turned down alcohol at every opportunity he gets. <laughs> Someone tells me this is going to get way scary way fast. Yeah, you might want to change that in about five to ten minutes. Abraham Lincoln. Oh. <laughs> Just jinxed it. it it's above one percent. Two hundred percent now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two percent. But why? Guys, what do you think those are going to do? <laughs> Sir, we oh, don't I... have handcuffs that big. I just noticed, like, what's up with his pants? Who? Uh, the dude in the yellow jacket. Oh, what about it? Uh, just something like the pen, like the waistline was like really high up. He's lanky. Fair enough. Who's dude? I think he's chastising them for outcasting him. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. Here we go. <laughs> so these guys are bootleg Hispanic Power Rangers the whole time. <laughs> Beautiful. I am, How did he get I in have... his thing if he was sleeping? 
Uh-oh. Great question. A classic transformation sequence. I am at a, I am almost at a loss for words. <laughs> not golden, therefore you're not El Dorado. I like how the colors are faded to signify that it's old. Yep. That's actually really cool. Oh, I just noticed something about his armor. It kind of looks like a knockoff Dark Gundam. Yeah, yeah I can see that. I also see some Ava vibes in it, too. Mainly the teeth. Mm-hmm. You don't need a drink. Well, because you're destroying everything. What the hell is up with this dude? <laughs> Eighty, get yeah. in the robot. said get in the robot not sing <laughs> yes sing the language of your people the theme song power up <laughs> is real <laughs> Song's still going. <laughs> she has stopped mm -hmm. singing and it's still going. Vaughn, Vaughn, get in your mech or lady, get in the freaking robot. Oh, just you wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you, Vaughn. <laughs> And it just works. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Ooh. 
Oh shit. <laughs> well, now that actually looks cool. Uh, Domon, I think there's a lawsuit involved now. That's a true fan right there. Ow. That's ridiculous. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> His eyes twitched. Really? At least Vaughn and Wendy stayed long enough for a picture. Yep. Goodness gracious. <laughs> um, Wendy? <laughs> yeah? You've been holding out on me. <laughs> yeah, he kind of has. <laughs> now you, now you know. I always, I always got something on my sleeve, you know. <laughs> um, so for anyone listening, Lenny, I think has firstly, personally, in my opinion, picked some of the best shows out of all of us. <laughs> Gotta set my game up. Yeah, well, I mean, between this and Mbaki, I'm filling our ridiculousness quota. Although, to be frank, uh, Lupin gave me a run for my money for uh, ridiculous shit when it came to picks. So yeah, that that is fair. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, so you guys are liking it so far? Mm, this show is my aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just I I love the fucking like geriatric power rangers <laughs> i just it i, I don't I, know why but it makes me think of the it makes me think of those like old-timey superheroes from spongebob yeah like mermaid man i don't and barnacle, it, it, boy. barnacle boy yeah. yeah just like god damn this i'm having so many flashbacks to not only playing the game but now those guys and it's like good lord these guys are just it's knockoff super sentai Oh yeah, uh, I I don't know what is, but apparently they're like supposed to be like an homage to Gao Guy Gear or something to that effect. To um, Gao Guy Gear, the yeah, the King of Braves. Yes, <laughs> so apparently they're supposed to be, or at least the closest comparison is that. Um, mm -hmm. I just saw them as Power Rangers. That's just because that's what I grew up with. You know, it, it could yeah. fit any of those like, you know, sort of shows, any of those like combiner mech, you know, kung fu shows. Yeah. So. 
and it, it's just so over the top and and this is not the biggest thing but I, I just love the music all of their music is fucking like mariachi stuff with all the trumpets and everything it's i dig it definitely different you don't hear that that often in mech battles oh, yeah, yeah. Anti uh, up, amigo that's right uh so do you guys want to keep going then yeah, yeah, I can do a few more. All right. Let me get the next episode queued up then. All right. I will be back in a moment. Okay. okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ridiculous. This is only episode three. Yeah, it, it gets... It get, here's the thing. So it gets simultaneously uh, more ridiculous and more serious as it goes. I can see that. Yep. It, it ramps up, but it tones down. Yep. And how many episodes is the show? What, 24? Uh, 25, I think. Okay. The odd number. Yes. But yeah, so no, it's uh, it's there, and yeah, things are gonna keep going for a bit. I think it's it's either episode, I want to say either seven or eight, when we'll say like that's when, like they calm down with the like episodic thing, you know, like mm -hmm. the villain of the week stuff, and then they kind of like get at it. All right, I'm back. Welcome All back. Right. All right, are you ready for the next episode? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, all right. You know, the title kind of reminds me of a Godzilla movie a little bit. Yeah, the big, bold red font kind of does. Yeah. And incredible mustaches. Super mustaches. I still don't think he remembers her name. We open it up with an armor, huh? Just scuttled. I don't know, maybe follow the direction where you hear the water. <laughs> Dude, you're right next to a waterfall. 
And then Vaughn let the water take him. <laughs> Think he can. She's pretty strong for her size. Yeah. You know, drag a full grown man like that. And this is not the first time she's done it either. Oh, that's true. And she Last has to do it while dragging her own luggage, too. Mm hmm. Across an unknown amount of desert. Seriously, the girl's not going to leave you alone. She's trying to help your ass. Or again. <laughs> wow. I bet Sam Wise is looking at this. It's like, yeah, girl, I feel your pain. Yep. And then they both got sick. I'm free. Must run. <laughs> And I really admire Wendy's force of will, I'm not gonna lie. Yep. All right, now that's smart. She's already surviving better than 2,000% of people on the world. To no good. What kind of noise was that? That didn't sound like exactly a wolf howl. What did you step on? Maybe a sharp rock. Interesting tattoo. Dude. I suspect that name was very important. Oh, at least it stopped raining. Due to the nature of the episode's title, I suspect that won't be for long. Don't leave me alone with him. 
He might eat me. Yeah, he yeah. Won't. I wouldn't put it past him. Take condiments with him. He's safe. Yeah. He's going to be like, eh, not enough condiments. <laughs> but he'll think about it. Find condiments. And tells me those things might be a little bit poisonous. To be fair, they're just like apples. They just taste really bad. Ouch. At least she's okay. <laughs> Release me from this hell, human. <laughs> Didn't even bother to pick him up. <laughs> he just left him there. Jesus Christ. Wait, what? Summoning it like for no reason. Interesting that um, it said the vitals were hurt, so it's not Don's vitals, it's actually Vaughn's vitals then. <laughs> Vaughn, you asshole. That's so fucked up. He will remember this. <laughs> oh, will remember this. Seriously, does this man have like a death wish or something? He is depressed, Perry. Uh, that's well, so what's the difference? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the time lady for her to have some form of self defense <laughs> you notice how a scarf is floating in midair Wendy, I think you might need to bring Vaughn.
I'm off Ellie's Gary. That man has a story. I want to know what it is. He raised a good doctor, and uh, the good doctor apparently is a dick and doesn't let him borrow stuff. Poked his eye out in a freak wheelchair getting accident. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. The turtle made it out. It took him way too long. Vaughn. It oh, no. literally took a, a turtle smaller than your fist, able to unroll itself back off its back and <laughs> travel what appears to be almost a mile <laughs> in the time you took to get in there. That boar attacked her for her food. And apparently the show's budget's kind of run out a little bit. Sepia, man. Just like, man, uh, screw this joint. <laughs> that is the most cooperative bore. If there's 30 to 50 of them, there'd be a problem, but. <sighs> just the one. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Stops. I had to. <laughs> okay, for a split second, I thought that was Cameo just sitting on the ledge there. <laughs> I'm like, don't jump! <laughs> oh.
excuse me, but I prefer to call myself as a small person, thank you. She just hasn't hit the growth spurt yet. Been a couple years. Hmm. Uh oh, that's not freezing. not cool. That's not no. Kosher. That is that's not cool. Thank you. <laughs> no fanfare whatsoever. <laughs> nope. Not even worth it. Oh, okay, so that's how it works. Yep. He heals in the robot. You called it. She got sick trying to not get the from him. <laughs> really? <sighs> Ungrateful prick. Something's about to go down. Is that who I think it is? Yes. It's Liam O'Brien. It's my boy! <laughs> It's a trademark Lenny show now. Yeah, uh, that yeah, there is his his friendly little man crush. Yeah, friendly. <laughs> <laughs> I like how that's the word question. <laughs> what would you would you say? Would you want me to say slightly homoerotic? Slightly. <laughs> <laughs> You are awfully presumptive tonight, Perry. You know that. <laughs> excuse, well, excuse me, considering how many times you got, you've mentioned him. <laughs> notice the, the words I'm. Me. Notice the words I'm contending, though. <laughs> See, jail is picked up on. That. <laughs> I think it's way more intense than you're giving it credit for. Perry. It's not slight. <laughs> It just ain't friendly. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to make it sound at least somewhat platonic. Man, that's that was your first mistake, alright? <laughs> alright. Alright, fine. All right, I guess I, I guess I deserve that. <laughs> we're, 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 <laughs> nah, but uh yeah, so that was a little bit of a breather episode. I mean they did some lore and some character building, but uh 
notably less batshit crazy things happened, as you can see. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. When you got a bit of focus, which was nice. Oh well, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean... Also... Oh, no, go ahead, Jalen. Okay, okay. I said, also, now I know why he wears that tuxedo. Yep. Yeah, so to answer your question, Perry, so, uh, basically he has to, um, ride his mech every so often, um, because he has, we'll say, a sort of symbiotic relationship with it. Right. Yep, and so if he doesn't, he'll get that kind of you know, he'll get basically, we'll say, like, uh, withdrawal symptoms mm -hmm. from not riding in his mech, and yeah. So he's kind of, like, addicted to it. Yeah, he's kind of addicted to it, and most, and like Jalen said, most of his tuxedo, not all of it, but most of it is actually a rider suit. Um, you know, something that he actually uses to, like, integrate into it. Because notice when he uh -huh. went into the river that he didn't even take off his gloves. Mm hmm Oh. Yeah. That, okay, that makes a slight bit of sense. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I kind of want there to be a point now, just because I'm... I like Vaughn watching him as a character He when he goes all badass and whatnot. But there's going to be a point where it's like, come on, Lenny, you, you've got to call him out on his crap. I, <laughs> I, I, I think I, he's an asshole, but he's a very entertaining to watch asshole. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying he isn't. It's just a matter of okay. He needs to have his crap called out. I'm just like, look, I understand if he wants to get like revenge or something. If that's what it seems like he's going after, just based on the flashbacks, you're not gonna get anywhere if you're just gonna be this whole lone wolf kind of crap. Yeah, I mean, he's got a giant robot. Yeah, but that's not gonna help him if he does like if he's not sociable and says I'm looking for a man with a giant claw and literally not give a fuck. Yep. That's why Wendy's here to even out everything. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. She's probably my favorite character in the show so far, just because like okay, she's actually proactive. She gives a crap. She's trying to do something on her own goals, and she's actually pretty crafty and and resourceful. So like, I like her. Yeah. I I like her too, and I what I find notable is she doesn't seem like a tag along kid. Mm -hmm. You know, like she doesn't just seem like I'm here to be the kid. Woohoo! Like she, she's got a bit more uh, depth to it than that. You know, like uh, not that I, mind you, I don't dislike um, Ed at all from like Cowboy Bebop, but Ed is mostly kind of there just as like a sort of plot device slash comic relief most of the time. I get you. Um, you know, as in mostly there to be either funny or to provide them with, like, her computer skills. Um, so, it, like, in comparison, Wendy seems to have some goals and is a good foil to Vaughn, I think, in regards to that. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, sure. so, there's that. Let's, uh, shall we proceed? Do you guys want to do another episode? I could do another, yeah. Alright, maybe one more. Alright, last one of the night. We'll call it from there. Okay. Yeah. Oh snap! It's Liam O'Brien and Hell yeah. Vaughn. Yep. This is suddenly going to turn into like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, where it's just Polnareff's adventure and friends. <laughs> Who can say? It's <laughs> it, well, it won't focus on Liam O'Brien. I'll say, but yeah. as much as you would want it to. Yeah. I, yes. But Vaughn is still pretty good. Well, do you like the character that he plays? Yes, I do. But to be Although, honest, uh, he, he's he's a very good, like, we'll say, like, shadow slash rival to Vaughn. Mm -hmm. But on his own, he's not a particularly strong character. I get you. So he's yeah. meant to be a foil. Yeah. He's much better as a foil than as a standalone character. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I like that.
Oh boy. You'd be surprised how easy that is. Uh, what? Dug into the mountain with wind power. I, I am all sorts of confused. Oh, just wait. It gets more confusing. <laughs> oh. Okay, then. Oh my god. Oh god, Carmen. I like how Karma's just like already doing what she should be doing. She fills her role very well. Mm hmm. Was she building a computer? They're bored. <laughs> Is this the plot of Devil May Cry 3? <laughs> Don't think he really cares. <laughs> oh, wow. That is something right there. That is some petty bitterness right there. Yep. <laughs> I don't think you want to say that to him. Excuse me, I will be your edgelord for the evening. He's even more Virgil. <laughs>
Well, that was a fight. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, what? He's dead. Really? What? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This dude has no chill. God, they both have the death glare eyes. Story time. You mean a cut? Ah, damn it. <laughs> For crying out loud, this guy's a hot topic stereotype of Irish. And kill them together.
Oh, like just every how cynical like every adult in this universe is. I mean, you'd be cynical too if you had a symbiotic relationship with a robot. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if Cooper showed me anything, is that having a giant robot rules? Yeah, but Coop's an idiot. But at least he's an idiot who knows how to have fun. That's saying something, considering. Have your dual discs and ready to draw. Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> Ow. Let's see his armor. Damn. Shit. Yep. And these girls got some daddy issues. It's an armor they have to pilot together. Some Pacific Rim shit. Ten years early. Oh my god. Oh, you seriously have issues. <laughs> hey, Vaughn, seriously, just kill this guy now. Kill him. Unfortunately, he's just as good. for crying out loud thanks shadow the hedgehog <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Even Shadow isn't this bad. Yeah, I guess he's a oh, little more Virgil. Hell, hell, Dante? No, Virgil and Shadow would just say, like, dude, this needs to chill. Now's not the time to come together. <laughs> oh, that sounded wrong. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he seemed disgusted at this. <laughs> but I don't blame him. He's not okay. <laughs> Oh, wow, that thing's big. Yeah. He has plot armor. <laughs> He's also He's a, a giant, giant robot. robot. He's safer than anyone else here. Lady, we don't want anything to do with this stupid squabble. Okay, that was cool. <laughs> okay. Some underworld <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, he's got like a little cape. <laughs> yep. He's he's that much of an edge lord. Yeah, man. They're being injected with venom, aren't they? No, oh God. Elm. Wow. Ray made a statement. <laughs> yup. <laughs> he did not fuck around. It makes There's Ed... like the nicest guy in the world. 
<laughs> yeah, no, Vaughn, Vaughn is nice guy Vaughn <laughs> compared to actually <laughs> a homicidal maniac Ray. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's there's being an edge lord, and then there's this piece of work. Yeah, man. he is the edge. Yes. <laughs> nah, man. Like, is that is he's yeah, what's up above that? Like an edge baron, an edge king, like <laughs> edge <laughs> god. Yes. The edge master. Yes. He's got the tragic backstory. He's got the willingness to kill, and and he's he's like he's his opposite in like all the ways, and like because he's got he's got a sword that when holstered looks like a fucking gun, and he's got a gun that looks like a fucking sword holster, you know. <laughs> As I mentioned, he wears mostly white, while Van, while uh, Vaughn wears mostly black. Uh huh. Yep. They're literally, yeah, you're right, Lenny. They are literally the inverse of each other. Yep. Oh man. Oh, it makes me also wonder. It's like I wonder what kind of food he eats because he's probably just eats really plain food while Vaughn eats everything with condiments saturated all over it. Yep. <laughs> like he even eats in moderation. <laughs> it's just like I'll take a salad. <laughs> Funny enough, there is a scene where they both dine together later in the series. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, now this, uh, now that ought to be interesting. Oh god, it's it's amazing, and and of note, just so you guys are, because it's very very subtle, but it's kind of pushed towards with some of this. So, pretty with the exception of the uh, the wild gang at the beginning, all of these episodes have had some like the the evil doers have all had ties to the claw thus far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, even so like the guy in the dark Gundam from episode three, um you know, the mustachio brigade <laughs> from episode two. And now these I guys. That, I think that still might take the cake, honestly, in terms of ridiculousness. <laughs> I fucking love the mustache brigade. And and they're they don't like forget about them either. They reference them later in the series too. <laughs> Oh wow! Yeah, they they actually contribute to something else a little bit later. <laughs> it's it's insane. So they are on the right trail. Yes. So th this guy is all over the place, and they're basically been following him since then. And then you have this, which is thus far this is probably no. Th there have been some fucked up things before, but this is probably the darkest episode yet. Yeah. I mean, what do we have here? We have massive daddy. We have daddy issues that rival Evangelion. I'm just gonna say this right now. Yep. It's and that's just condensed into one episode. Mm -hmm. On top of that, we had failed genetic experiments that essentially a, a an armor that runs off the energy of corpses, while the pilots are interjected with venom on a Pacific Rim type level. Yep. And having a civil war between fa uh, between siblings just because they're bored and have want to have this massive inheritance and you know what's even more ironic is considering that even if they had killed each other in the first place or one or the other they literally couldn't pilot the armor in the first place yeah yep they literally would have killed the, each other for nothing yep that is and not to mention, it just seems like as soon as they saw the armor, it's like their minds began to completely unravel. Like, you guys were far gone insane way before this all started. This is true, but... I'll say I'd owe it to them being, like, emotionally broken by realizing that they're just, like, projects, you know? Like, they weren't actually, mm -hmm. like, his daughters as much as just, like, you know, like, just clones that he just really cared about, like, in, for, in regards to his goal. And also, the blood loss and the being shot probably doesn't help either. Uh, probably not enough blood going to their heads. Yeah, literally. so I mean, they're, like, yeah. they're in shock both emotionally and physically, and then they're like, alright, time to get in a robot and break things, because I can't handle reality right now. Oh, apparently not. Meanwhile, we had Al the Edge. Yeah. <laughs> it just, it just, everyone's dead. Just like, he, yeah. and he just... Yeah, everyone in that town died. And I love 
like that moment when he like just picks up the pen and he's like, "What are you doing?" and just <laughs> just fucking just fucking shoots that guy in the head and leaves. Good lord. That is. I'm not gonna lie. Like nine times out of ten, when we would see a plot similar to this, they would usually drag it out. But he's just like, "Nah, man, I'm, I've got crap to do." Yeah, he, he's he's such an edge lord that he doesn't even like take time to like stew in his own edginess. Like the oh. other ones have to wax philosophical about it a bit. He, he's we'll say he's very efficient in his edge lord. He mm-hmm. is. I respect that actually. <laughs> I will give okay. I will give credit to that at least. Mm. The only time he actually did wax was when uh, they just had that one little talk. Yep. Yeah. That is uh, that is a very valid point. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, first five episodes. This is a series of twenty-five episodes. Um, yeah. So. Hope you guys are liking it thus far. Uh, yeah, this is definitely an, an interesting show thus far. Very enjoyable. Yeah. All right. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop the recording now, uh, just because I think. Well, it's before we before ever mm-hmm. before we sign off, I just want to say, hopefully, everyone else listening to this actually enjoyed our somewhat smarmy commentary for this first iteration. Yeah, the show uh, proves to leave a lot to comment on. Yep. Yeah, no, the, <laughs> the hits just keep coming. Oh, yeah, and I suspect there'll be more to come in the future. At least, if not, Lenny, I'm going to be severely disappointed. No, I, I, I mentioned this to Jalen while you were uh, off on your uh, break. Uh, the show simultaneously gets more ridiculous and more serious as it goes. Um, mm-hmm. And, mind you, it'll kind of waver between the two. You know, I think the next episode, if I'm not mistaken, I might be mistaken. But I think the next one is a silly one. Um, and then it'll go to a I'm serious going, one. I'm going, to, I'm going to expect a race of horsemen or something like that. <laughs> not quite. Um, <laughs> oh, God. I, You know what? I'm not even going to say. You'll love it. It's <laughs> that's that's about the extent I, of it. I, I am now... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, because like th- this one, this next episode, if it's the one that I'm thinking it is, is going to be about on the level with um, like the you know, mustachio the... crew. Oh, no, 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 more. I would say more in line with the amigos, you know, okay. the, El- the El Dorado crew, I think, is what it's going to be more in line with here. Okay. Oh, you have more gags like that old man who just who was asleep but still was able to get everywhere. I okay. This is a very. It's slightly more than a minor spoiler, but I think you think you guys will dig this. So. The the El Dorado crew they do come back. Right. Oh okay. This is not the end of them. We do see more of them in the series. Okay, so that's why they're also in Super Robot Wars then. Yes, so they aren't just like a one off. They do come back and they do there are a lot of amazing scenes they probably have not in the episodes we've seen but in a later episode they have one of the funniest scenes in the whole series in in my opinion and i love them they <laughs> they are great fair enough yeah so all right so that's it for uh, us this time for this round uh so we'll probably do another set of episodes next time see you guys yeah. See you later. Bye, folks.